Good morning, my name is Mike Fillion. I'm owner uh, and builder of uh, Pro Design Hot Rods. We're located in uh, Santa Ana, California. We've been there for uh, 26, 27 years, building uh, hot rods and doing full restorations. This is one of our builds, 1956 Oldsmobile 98. It was eight years in the build. What we've done here is we wanted to try to create still a 50s custom. Very difficult to do, but I think we've achieved it. The motor is a 354 Hemi. It has a 6 2G EFI. They, are, uh, they look like a 2G carburetor, but they are throttle bodies by Dave over at EFI Auto Trends. Um, a lot of stuff has been fabricated from uh, Spark Industries, Jonathan Peace, done a lot of machine work. The pulleys are all hand machined, the hinges, the uh, air cleaners, they're a one piece, those are all CNC machined. Uh, we've done a lot of sheet metal work, the front end of the car, the hood, the front panel, uh, that is all one piece, all steel fabricated. Uh, lights are recessed. The headlights themselves are 3D printed. Uh, the cut on the lens is kind of a 30s cut. It does have the spear in the center with the logo old sled in the center. Um, the front bumper is of the original 56 bumper, but it's been heavily modified. Uh, it's now a one piece, it's been pinched, it's been shortened, markers have been eliminated, and of course the grill itself the grill is of a Corvette, early Corvette grill uh, that has been well modified and uh, machined. The pieces are all of different lengths. The plating is done you know, by advanced plating. Everything is uh, either a polished nickel or a satin nickel. The uh, hood emblem, as you can see, it does say Oldsmobile. Again, the name on it, the stars, that's the Oldsmobile. Um, they use that uh, design on their emblems, on the uh, horn button, you know, et cetera. So we wanted to keep that star, star, look, star look to show that it's still of, a, of the Oldsmobile. Moldings are all handmade out of brass. Again, that is nickel plated, and the center is a satin uh, plating. The scoops are all CNC made. They're a functioning scoop. We have the lake pipes with the lake pipe covers. Again, you see the stars on the, uh, on the lake pipe covers. The inside. Seal plates are also machined by Jonathan. The, the seal plates, the gas and brake pedal, uh, the steering wheel, the instrumentation panel all designed in, uh, by a few of our guys, as well as Spark Industries. The instrument panel is uh, classic instruments. They design that for us. Kind of mimics a uh, early style Lincoln, you know, Zephyr instrumentation. This is a removable hardtop. Uh, it is removable. Uh, it is a custom made top, all out of aluminum, surfboard foam, we've shaped it. And, and upholstered it in a canvas material. This feature I always like. The only thing that's really stock on the car is this piece here. This is 100% original. It's just been capped and the spears have been created. A lot of people say, well, that's the gas cap. Well, yes, it is. But that was the original horn button for the 56 Oldsmobile. So that we've incorporated that part of the car and used it as a gas cap. Kind of a neat feature. And that's where we started, you know, the stars were in that button. And I looked at that piece and I said, wow, what a neat piece, you know, with the stars, with the little, the little spines that we've carried out throughout the car. So that's a, kind of a neat feature. Coming to the back of the car, a uh, customer wanted the um, Continental kit. Loved the Continental kit. Of course, you know, Continental kit meant that you would extend the bumper and you'd put that Continental kit on the outside. It doesn't look all that great. We frenched it into the back uh, trunk area. All this area is handmade, starting from the quarter panels. Quarter panels are handmade, the trunk is handmade, the Continental kit, the whole back panel. So we frenched it in. You, you can maybe see some of the scallops that continue on, on the peak of the trunk as well as on the spare tire. A lot of people will look at the taillights and uh, a Packard taillight. It's inspired by a Packard taillight. 
Originally, we thought about putting a Packer tail light. We had to be different. So the bezel is all handmade. The lenses are a three-piece that are all um, 3D printed. Again, you know, uh, you see the logo that's inside and the spine, which kind of finishes it off and kind of looks like the, the headlight. Uh, the bumper is actually a 56 Chevy bumper that's been heavily modified. Um, that's what you did back in the day. You'd go to a wrecking yard and you'd buy you know, these parts, bumpers off of different cars, lights off of different cars, instrumentation. That, that's what you did back then. I wanted to try to follow that same, that same theme. Uh, license plate is just a custom one-off. Our exhaust tips as well, Frenched into the bumper. Underside of the car, as you can see, uh, belly pans, uh, heat deflectors, the link system, the suspension is all hand built. The frame is the original frame but has been heavily modified. Why I kept the original frame? I wanted to, it's an X frame and I wanted people to see it, you know, the, the detail, the shape of the frame. It's a beautiful frame, you just have to do a lot of work to it. That's why we thought about building a tube chassis or buying an aftermarket frame. We said no, let's keep the original, fr the original frame. The car is already placed for a grade eight. We're having a good time. Uh, we, we hope to uh, get the Riddler, we'll win the Riddler. It would be a great accomplishment for myself and all my guys who've worked really hard on the car. Uh, we're doing a lot of other shows. We're going to Chicago next week, Pleasanton, Del Mar for the good guys. Uh, hope you can come out and see it.